Paired Samples and Independent Samples in Statistical Analysis. Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths, including Statistics Learning Centre. In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between paired samples and independent samples. I will give examples of both. I will also show how to graph paired samples and explain why this is different from independent samples. Paired samples are really just one sample with two measurements taken on each of the subjects or observations. Here is an example of paired samples. We want to compare a score in a statistics test before and after tutoring. Each observation or line in the data refers to one person for whom there are two scores taken before and after the tutoring. We are interested to know about the differences in the two measurements. Scoring the same person twice helps to account for variation between people. In an actual study, we would have more than six people. Another approach compares the mean scores in a statistics test between people who have had face-to-face -face tutoring and those who have learned through an online course. In this instance, there are two samples, one for each group of people. The two samples are independent. There is no relationship between the people in one group and the people in another group. When you enter the data for analysis, each line will be a person and there will be one variable giving the score and one variable for group membership. Here is another example of paired data. We wish to test which of two cat food varieties is more appealing to cats. We have a sample of 15 cats. On one day, we offer each cat one variety, nubbles, and measure how much it eats. The next day we offer the other variety, yum, and again measure how much each cat eats. This is paired data as there is one sample of cats and the measurements are taken twice on each cat. Another way to explore the cat food varieties is to randomly assign the cats into two groups. We give a different variety of food to each cat depending on which group they belong to. This is an example of independent samples. For the paired samples, the data will look like this, with two measurements for each cat. For the independent samples, the data will look like this, with one line per cat and a variable stating which food they were given. In Excel, the data is put in two columns like this, if you are going to use the Data Analysis Toolpack. But in statistical packages, the data needs to be listed with one observation per line. When we are comparing two independent samples, we should plot the data using box and whiskers. Here are the plots for the cat food example independent samples. We can use box and whisker plots for paired samples, and sometimes this is better than nothing, but it disregards the information that we gain from pairing and reduces the power of our test. For paired data, we can make an arrow plot showing the paired result. This one was made on Excel. Each line represents one cat. A horizontal line means that it ate the same amount of each cat food. These plots are only useful for small sets of data. Rather than use the arrow plot, we can calculate the difference for each observation, in this case a cat, and plot those differences using a box and whisker plot. When a cat eats the same amount of each variety, the difference is zero. We would look to see how close the mean difference is to zero. To determine if there is evidence of difference in the population from which the sample or samples are drawn, we will use a t-test for the difference of two means. The tests are different for paired samples and independent samples. Check in the description below for links to videos for each of these tests. This video was brought to you by Dr Nick at Creative Maths. Please like this channel, subscribe, but most of all join the channel, especially if you are using our videos in your teaching. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who help make these videos possible.